I hate speaking in front of crowds. I'm a realtor and actually um, I do my best in a car with one-on-one -on -one, and um, talking in front of a group of people is my worst nightmare. So um, I would only do this for you, Joe. And I'm doing this in front of, in, before Meryl because she's a professional at this. <laughs> she makes people laugh and cry and has no problem doing it. And I said, I'm not going after her <laughs> because everybody will be so let down by it. So I'm first here. And um, I'm Robin Benjamin. Um, um, Stanley is um, my mother's brother. And um, my Aunt Joanna is um, the love of my life. And as much my aunt to me um, as, as a mother would be to me. Um, she has taken me under her wing and in her heart um, as much as any aunt could do um, and has been there for me through times in my life that um, have been as um, difficult as any time in my life could be and has been there with open arms. and. Um, you know, when they asked me to do this this morning, <laughs> um, I was, I said no immediately. And, um, but then I realized that um, there was no way I could. So I wrote something down and here it is. My Aunt Joanna, um, the summer of 1967. Um, think about it. Who would be willing to take in someone else's 15-year-old, troubled, hormonal, very hormonal, failing, combative, smoking like a chimney with a million questions to be asked kid. Not only did Joe take me in once, but twice. I couldn't even find a babysitter for my own kids, and no less, Joe took me in to live with her for two consecutive summers. People just don't do those kinds of things, and Joe did it twice, without thinking twice. It was a crazy time in all of our lives, Joe and Stan had three young kids and both of them were working full time. That in itself was foreign concept to me. The 60s were just getting going for me and I came to Michigan to find my way. I was on overload. Just writing this is taking me back to a time that brings me back in horror, thinking about all of those things. The truth was that I knew nothing and Aunt Joanna taught me everything that I needed to know. We would talk endlessly on our car rides back and forth to summer school. I was always so much better when Joe would drive because Stanley was so slow. <laughs> and I would always be late for school. I actually remember that. Although I also loved those rides riding with him. The two summers that I spent living in East Lansing were two of the most difficult years in my life and Aunt Joanna and Uncle Stanley, without hesitation to open up their home and more importantly, their lives and showed me what it would be to have a family which wasn't so perfect and struggle and survive those imperfections. In those years, nobody really communicated and, and it wasn't always easy to have me around. I truly came to appreciate the impact that Joe would have on my life. And, oh, here I go. <laughs> and the fact, the impact that Joanna that was a strong influence that I became as for me as a mother in my life. And I wanted to be the best mother that I could be. I wasn't so sure about the working stuff, but that all fell into place later. Most importantly, I wanted Joanna to be proud of me. She had worked so hard on me that I didn't want her to be disappointed. I'm a work in progress, Joe, but the truth is you're a tough act to follow and you were a lifesaver for me. So here we are in the summer of 2010. Eek. <laughs> I'm not doing the math and I think we look and feel the same, you and me anyway. We all have our health, so I have to ask you a question. So Joe, what do I do when I'm out on a date and the guy is a creep? <laughs> I want to dump him. <laughs> Will you come and get me? <laughs> Happy birthday.